I've got an electrical storm on the sensors. Freak. Thundercrack. Oh my gosh. I think it's already here. That cavern isn't stable. I want you to get back to... Looks like it cuts out. Woo! Oh my god! The game just kicked into high gear? So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome to Subnautica Below Zero. Can we just clap for a minute, man? Like, I didn't see this thing coming as soon as it did, but I'm so glad it's here, man. I can't wait. We finished up Subnautica around about a year ago, and the story for that was absolutely sensational. And now we're here with a brand new game, Subnautica Below Zero, and I cannot wait to ironically dive in. We got these, like, penguin creatures on the side. I mean, dude, you just fell over. Anyone gonna help you up, though? Yeah, hold up. Can he get up? Yeah, he can. Okay. <laughs> for those of you guys who don't know as well, Subnautica has a very special place in my heart when it comes to YouTube and the game as well. It was the first game that I ever kind of transitioned to content other than Five Nights at Freddy's because, like, I wasn't sure if people would like it, and it turns out a lot did. For that reason as well alone, I can't help but thank Subnautica for being the thing that pushed me to try something different on the channel and really end up where I am now. With that said, though, guys, I want to get straight into this, okay? And, I mean, if you do want another episode on this real soon because you already know I want to do one, I think you know exactly what to do. See the dude down there frozen in the caps as well? Okay, I gotta stop. Here we go. Press any button to continue. We are different, but we are together. Wait. What? That's his dream sequence. What the heck? Was she communicating with the other survivor here? At the same time, the Sea Emperor? My god. <laughs> it's our alarm. Okay. So we can turn it off or I guess leave it. Hey, uh, let's go ahead and snooze that sucker. Okay, I can't. Press tab. Turn that thing off. Oof. Dang, how long you been asleep for? Let's start with the suit crackling. Oh my gosh. Guys, we are here. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, abandoned PDA. I mean, it's in my room. So Robin Goodall, Altera application interview. Go ahead and take that. Look at this. We are so well established. We got family. Like, come on. So this is one of the new fishes here. I think if you swim through it, you can actually gather oxygen from it. Definitely helps with diving in like the deeper zones. And I think other than that, that might be it. Let's check out the tank here. Seeing some familiar faces. Apart from the peepers looking a bit more green. Like, what the freak you guys been eating down here? Let's check out the PDA. We got that data bank. So, download Altera Robin Goodall. I assume Robin might be our character here. So, interviewer, why have you applied for this role? Everyone's talking about 4546B. Who hasn't applied? Maybe Jeffries? No, Jeffries signed on last week. Why this assignment? The last time we found sentient alien life was Strata 6, 17 years ago. It's been fun, but frankly, I'm bored. And you have telepathic squid. Should I tell you that the rumors about space fair aliens on the planet are rumors. If that's why you're here, you'll be disappointed. I'm a xenolinguist. Spacefaring aliens are our holy grail. I want it, but I don't expect to get it. What qualifies you for this position? There are creatures out there you couldn't imagine, let alone understand. Do you know how I talk to them? I think you correlate responses against stimuli and I do what they do. If they bathe in liquid nitrogen and talk with their feet, I put on a coat and I pull a handstand. But this recruitment process, it's most alien of all. So I'm trying to correlate my responses here. I want us to understand each other. Put me on that planet. I'll talk with the fish for you. Thank you, Miss Good all. Sandra? Sandra? Sandra will show you out. Sandra! The freak Sandra doing? Well, whether Sandra actually showed us how, I have no idea. Here we go. I feel like we're on ground level, right? Holy crap, it just expands even more. Remember, information leading to the activation of alien technologies is rewarded with automatic right to buyouts and a 10,000 credit bonus? Research of cultural or historical value is not included in the bonus scheme. Buyout still applies, okay? Bro, look at this crap, though. Look, they got like a cafeteria on deck. There's a lot of seats as well. So I can assume this was once a thriving thing, you know? A lot of people working here. Dang, and look outside. We got prawn suits. Holy crap. The Vespa, the eyes in the sky over alien world. So I think that's always orbiting, and we might be able to see that. What do we have over here? I uh, don't even know what the freak that is. Lots of different components working. This would have provided power to the place organically, I believe. Microscopes, empty stands completely too. Let's continue making our way through. We're good out here. Ooh, we're outside for the first time. Holy crap, man. This is dope. This is actually... What the freak? That's like freaking alien crap already? So we must have built this close to where a precursor location was off the bat? That's insane. Okay, Vespa's trying to talk about coming in. Hi, Sam. I guess there's no voice lines yet, but that's fine, man. I'm just down to experience this. We lost contact with Jeffries up at the research site. Okay, I'll check it out. Guess that's our first objective then. You know, the formal bit's cute, but we shared a womb. Uh, wait, what the freak? Would it kill your career to act like we'd met before? Robin, you know these conversations are monitored. Guess that's why we're gonna be careful. I don't care, who knows, it's cute. I've been here two weeks and we've hardly spoken because you went straight to the planet. Find Jeffries and chat later. Okay, straight to the point then, thanks, ma'am. All right, we got ourselves a greenhouse back here as well. Fortunately, everything is thriving too, and we could probably harvest some of the goods. Nope. Uh, okay or not? Hold up, you hear that crap though? Are they putting like fake nature sounds just to keep this feeling a bit more homely? Because I actually believe they are. <laughs> Can't check out the lockers or anything more. 
Okay, let's head out this way too. <laughs> I'm so excited, I can't stop. What about these pawn suits though? Are they actually operational? I guess we'll go ahead and find out. What? That is a strange stand of ice right there. Like, what the f- Hey, bro, are you working right now? I don't think so. Can I actually get in? Eyes in the sky. Th this is crazy, this whole game. What the hell is going on? Let's check this out. Someone left their meal out. I mean, you're out of luck by now unless you're fancy munching on some icy pizza. Let's get moving, though. So we have, like, a forklift over here. Is it drivable? It is not. But it was probably moving the cargo over. Other than that, there's not much more we can do here. Can't access the prawn suits. I guess they do appear a little bit damaged. Okay, so which way first, you know? You can kind of see that a path has been slightly paved for us. I know if we go that way, we may end up heading to precursor locations. See over here. So this is completely frozen over, right? Now, I'm gonna check this out a second. Uh, what the freak is this? Uh, hold up. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I ain't destroying the snowman. Nah, man, he's good. I know he's wearing a mask, so we might actually go ahead and use that in a sec. Okay, I guess we didn't need the ladder anyway. Walk across the ice and see underneath. We can roam down there, guys, eventually. Oh, man. Can we climb up here? The way the ice is formed is very, very unique. You see this? Okay, we can slightly climb. There's probably going to be a better way to get up here as time goes on. I go ahead and park on my way right. Okay, invisible wall. Look at the plants here as well. Like how they grow. I guess they would have had to have adapted to grow in these icy conditions. Not much would probably be alive around here. So that explains that, but still, very interesting. Other than that, based on the location, there's only really one way we can head out, which is through this way here. I guess we've got to go towards precursor located land. And the lights as well show that someone's been here before. So let's do this. Okay, slow down, friend or foe? The freak, look at this thing. Oh boy. Okay. It's like a sentient plant. They actually observe you. Look at that. They look straight at you. That is so bizarre. Okay. Well, as long as that's all they do, I mean, no problem. I'm kind of doing the same thing. All right, let's go. Yep, nice to meet you too. See you later. Let's pick up the pace a little bit here. Still, there's only one confined route we can head down. What is this? Precursors, definitely. Look at the lighting in this cave. Holy crap. This is insane. I guess we got to go down here then. Look at the lighting. The atmosphere is just totally different for this zone. And the precursors as well have been more specifically building on land. Unless perhaps it does go underneath as time goes on. But again, look at this. That is insane. Oh my gosh. Okay, look, I probably shouldn't be running. I want to bask in this. But I'm also very eager to get things started. Can you hear that? Oh my god, there's an abandoned PDA down there. Hold up. Any of this stuff we can use? You know, this shows, though, that the humans did definitely go this way. I mean, there is only one confined route and, uh, you know, like, coffee on deck. Yeah, bro, this thing out, I can't get no coffee. Right, I do want this, though. Let's take a look. <sighs> Warning access denied. Yo, what you want right there? You want that orange tablet and also some kind of passcode. Okay, concede Robin Goodall. Sam, the bill just powered up. It spoke to me. How do you know my name? I come in peace. Are you safe? It's never done that before. I'm fine. No sign of Jeffries. Okay. I've got an electrical storm on the sensors. Thundercrack. Oh my gosh. I think it's already here. That cavern isn't stable. I want you to get back to... Oh, looks like it cuts out. Sam It's completely gone. I mean, all it takes is one of those icicles to land straight on the top of my five head and I'm done. Right, hold up, hold up. Let's go ahead and check this out. So, alien research site. During the occupation of 4546B, the mysterious race of spacefaring aliens we refer to as Almanic has selected a number of sites around the planet at which to build their vast facilities. While the focus of their mission to save their kind from the bacterium was the Emperor specimen contained at the primary containment facility, their other installations served a variety of precautionary and support roles. While Zero Six contains a number of now familiar alien sanctuaries, the alien facility in close proximity to the main research station remains one of the few whose purpose we have yet to discover. This will be the focus of our endeavors in Zero Sector. What we know, frozen beneath the ice hundreds of years ago, the facility lays dormant to this day. We have progressed only through the first force field, gaining access to the antechamber, where a combination lock of a type we don't understand prevents further exploration. Whatever is inside, it is protected more thoroughly than anything else we have encountered. Ooh! So there's something very important, and protected definitely from ice? Okay. Well, with the knowledge of a thunderstorm coming in, we should probably make it back to the uh, research base. I don't want to get clapped up. Do I see this now? Uh, okay, let's think. Thunderstorm, which could kill us and go back to safety or go ahead and explore. Uh, you know, which, uh, you know. Guys, come on. It's a new alien planet. I'm back on 4546B. I gotta see what's been popping off on the other side of this. Oh, wait, hold up. Is that like sectioned off? I have this very, very small cavern. I don't think we can climb up here just yet at least. Nah, we've gotta head back. I wonder what this is right here. Looks like almost an ion crystal. Could it actually be that? Maybe if we had, like, a drill, we could harvest it for a power source? We know that the ion crystals were an endless source of power, you know? So that would be very handy if so. We do have some prawn suits as well back at base, so if we can have access to those... Holy... Woo! Oh my god! The game just kicked it into high gear? Okay, so with that done... 
we're completely sealed off. What the freak are you looking at? Stop laughing at me. All right, we gotta move. This is insane, this planet though. Very, very dangerous above surface. We gotta take an alternate route, man. Frozen lakes by the looks of it. Planet's still trying to burrow their way through just about. Okay, but we've gotta go this way here. Regardless of where it leads, just keep this moving. How beautiful. What the freak was that? That sounded like alien stuff moving about, like the actual facility waking up. I don't know. I'm trying to get off the water just to be safe. Gotta go back on. I'm so hyped. I really am. Like, the way this whole thing looks is incredible. This is gonna be an amazing experience. Guys, this is a pre-pre-release, you know? From what we can even expect. Okay, I think the uh, little station up there will be safe. Gotta jump down. Oh, Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Should have done a safer route, but look. Even if I've cracked my leg open or something. Holy crap! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's underneath? I don't feel safe. Guys, I really don't feel safe. This is creeping me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I want to get back on land. I don't think I can. So I've got to dive. You see, now the problem with this is the game has just thrown me into one of my worst phobias, which is like being in water. And then when you look down, you can kind of see the bottom. That makes things a little bit less intimidating. Oh boy. Let's go. Your environment is no longer safe and your PDA has rebooted in emergency mode. Start here. Thank you very much for that. Be advised, high wind speeds will cause lethal exposure in four minutes. Arctic Survival Guide. What the freak is that? I'm just introduced to alien life straight away. See if I can poke this to replenish oxygen. <laughs> you take all of it. And look at that, it seals itself away, like a defense mechanism almost. We're gonna have to resurface here and get back on dry land. But we've got four minutes with the winds like blazing through, you know, we gotta be so careful. All right, we can't get out there. No chance. So where are we headed? Further into the cave system. Okay, now we're seeing some life with the fish. Can we take one? Okay, we can. Good fish. Look, I'm sorry, bro. You know what? Go free, actually. Okay, that was a fake. Take a peek above the surface again. Woo! Look at the way the moon is right there, though, man. You see that? Okay, so we got four minutes before we die off. And I can barely see as well what I'm doing. Just hop between the ice caps. I can barely make it. You see? Let me check this out. So I gotta get back to base. It's very unsafe here at the moment. What's that glowy thing over there in the distance? You see that? Okay, it might be just one of these. So we'll go under the water. We'll try and shoot up above the surface. Let's go. Okay, we just about made it. Let's see then if that's our route back. Might be. Robin, come in. I copy. I'm out of open water. Just about. Stay where you are. I'm sending a rescue shuttle. Aye. Wait, no, I'm okay. I just need shelter. Fine, I'm sending a temporary habitat instead. Look up. Hello? Is it gonna shoot out from this thing? Thank you, Sam. Call me when you get there. There's like a full-fledged story here, you know? Okay, right here. Holy crap, this is incredible. What? Okay, look, I didn't expect this. I thought it would be a bit more linear, but this is completely story building right now, you know? Yikes, that's a big gap to jump across. Let me see if I can find, like, a shorter part. I actually don't think I can, unless that might be it here. Okay, this is it. Pop up. You know what? The first thing we need to try and do once we can build resources is find some kind of lighting source, because I can't see in the dead of night. All right, it's falling over there. So let me see if I can stay on dry land, make my way around. I'm starting to think, though, perhaps swimming across will be the best solution, you see? The little drone thing just like flies off too. You know what, man? We're gonna go for it. Oh boy. I feel like this zone is probably gonna be the safest one out of all. See, we've got these twisty bridges here too. It's gonna be amazing to see this in the daytime. I can't wait. Saying that though, look at the beauty of all this stuff down here at nighttime. Incredible. Take a look down here. Ooh, this is insane. We got caves as well. We'll hold off on that just for now. Bladder fish, give me that good stuff. Okay. So these guys surviving up here then by the looks of things. Let's get some oxygen. There we go. Hold up. The freaking penguins. Bro, friend or foe? You hop up. Okay, I can't. No, no, no. The game doesn't get it. I will go and greet those penguins no matter what. Guys, I'm on dry land. Holy crap. I'm walking with the penguins. Let me hop over. Hey, fellas. How's it going? They seem... Can I feed them the fish? Hold up. That would be amazing if I could. I can. I can pick up the pengling. I ain't doing that. Look at these sweet fellas. I am not going to disturb those. Okay, we don't have the PDA or nothing to scan them either. I'd imagine they maybe dropped it all with this. So we've established straight off the bat they're very passive. Look at that. Walking right among us and they don't cause any threats. Worth knowing. All right, now it looks like the safety habitat did land underwater. But if it's going to provide us some safety, it's all we need. Oh yeah, here we go. This is it, just a small pod. Into the base. All right, we're back in. So we learned about fiber mesh from that apparently. Nice, dude. Okay, and we've also got ourselves a fabricator. Sam, I'm at the habitat. Any word on Jeffries? Nothing. And the facility? It said my name. I need to know why. I know. Make something to eat. Get equipped. Okay, I'll have answers by then. I mean, I've got some stuff. We'll do. So this is it. 
This is where the adventure begins. Oh my god. All right, so we can go ahead and make water from this, I guess. We're gonna cook the hoot fish. I'm sorry, bro. I gotta eat though as much as you gotta live. So uh, we're fine for, uh, I guess, water for now. I'm all gonna worry about this. There we go. So we've got two food sources. We'll go ahead and consume both of these off the bat. There you go. Looking much better. Let me see on the fabricator. What else can we build? Fiber mesh. Uh, we've got silicone and also glass. Okay, so quartz still exists. And we can also make a battery off the bat. A ribbon plant and copper ore. Okay, ribbon plants. I've never seen that before, so we'll have to keep our eyes peeled. Now, equipment. We've got first aid, fins, and the oxygen. That is what we need, the scanner. We're going to have to find a source of titanium and then make the battery. All right, I got to go back out. It's daytime, too, so we can really enjoy this. Uh, I hope you're not mining as well. The less cuts in this, guys. This is so exploration heavy right now. And there is so much to take in. I I'm just, like, shook by this point, you know? Like, we can travel probably anywhere on this land. I'm so excited. I really am. And so the search begins. Just listen down here as well. You just hear elements of life. Haven't seen any true dangers, but I do think they exist. So we gotta keep our wits out first. What was that? You see what I mean? Get some oxygen. That sounded almost like one of the Reaper Leviathans, but a bit more high-pitched. Okay, from this direction, let me see. What is this? Are they dangerous or passive? They don't look passive, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, they're dangerous. I'm out. The game looks beautiful as well. I don't know if they've improved the uh, graphics for the engine. It's certainly convincing me that they have. Okay, let me check down here. I think these are a pocket of resource that we need, so we'll take the ribbon plants. Take all three. Okay, let me pop in the base a second. Let me just see what we can build right off the bat. So for the battery, we need a source of copper ore. And then I think from that point on, after we find that, we build the battery and we have the titanium. Then we can go ahead and build the scanner. And I guess learn a bit about the life around this place. Guess that's what we're interested to learn. And I am too. God. I can't get over this, guys. I see the quartz. I'm going to stand back. I, I, if I don't move, this game looks like a blockbuster movie or something. Leave a like, not just for the video, but for the game. But <laughs> this point, let's go. Okay, another ribbon plant down here. Look at this growth. Seems to be some kind of like alien coral, almost. That's what I can gather. Oxygen. There we go. Okay, thanks for the reminder. But I got this one, man. I got it. See the precursor thing just over there as well? I assume it's what we could get back to access that thing again. But let's just try and keep on track now. We need some copper ore. Yes! Look at that right there! I right, enter the base. So now we can already get crafting some stuff. First off, we'll make the battery. Then we'll go ahead and make the scanner. Let's go, man. Look at this. Straight up progress. You know how it is. Now, what do we need to make the survival knife? Silicone, rubber, and titanium. Now... The freak was that? I'm actually gonna place the ribbon plants and the quartz in there for now. Uh, let's keep the scanner on our person. Now we can actually get investigating. Let's do this. All right, there's one of the penguin things. Can we scan you? Hey, bro, come back here. Bruh. Penguin? Le legit, that's what it's called? Okay. Get with the scanner. There you go. A pengling. Okay, and the penguin is one of these dudes here. Okay. There you go. Keep the lock on. And we're good. And the music kicks in just to keep the atmosphere. We're gonna head on back then to base. I wanna actually read about these creatures just to understand a bit more about their right. I don't even know what you'd call it, man. We'll start with a penguin. So a bird-like creature hunts small fish below the water and hulls and packs on the ice above. Consumes small prey fish and regurgitates them for its young. Retractable, detachable, luminescent tail for fast evasion of predators. Sharp teeth concealed inside the beak are defensive. Used to tear chunks out of aggressors and huddles and packs on the surface for protection against the cold. Assessment less cuddly than they look, okay? Penguin. Young penguins tend to huddle on dry land away waiting their next meal. Consume almost exclusively fish regurgitated by the adults in the huddle. They stay to the center of the huddle to stay warm and out of the wind. If separated from the huddle, the adults will become agitated and begin searching for their young penguin. So please don't do this. Their assessment is harmless. All right, now we know how this game goes, okay? Are things like the sea glider within here? Like, did things break up and uh, maybe we can find them down below? All right, we've got some quartz here. Can't scan it. I'll go ahead and take all of the quartz that are down here. It's actually quite a big playing area just off the bat. Okay, so here we go. We'll dip back under. We're gonna go in this way a little bit. I think for now, though, I might work towards making some fins. Okay, hold on, what's this? Is that a scannable? The sea glide! It is in the game! Okay, here we go. Go ahead, scan this good stuff. And there's an item above. That might be the gravity ball, I think. Grav trap. We'll take both of those suckers with us. Thank you very much. So I wonder what the story will be in terms of why there's some fragments uh, down below, like the uh, sea glide and stuff also here. There will be some kind of telltale sign, though. Just gotta figure out why. Hold up, you see how... They just jump... Okay, look, bro, whatever you're on, I want some. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, don't try and catch one, because they do that. Dude, the first, the Arctic peeper. Look, I'm gonna have to take you with me. Try and scan you first, then I'll go ahead and consume you. I mean, I'll take you for our safety. Uh, get back here, you wiggly son of a thing. Look at this. The movement speed, though, bro. God, this thing is wriggling so much. Alright, we got it. And now uh, we also actually got it. You see? There we go. Oof. 
look at that above the surface. So from what we know about this section of the planet, then violent storms are very common. It must happen a lot. Okay, let me take a breather a second. Let's take a look at the stuff that we can build. So if we want to go ahead and make the knife, which I think we do, and also the fins, we need silicone rubber. So the knife has to come first. All right, in fact, I think we're quite close to some creep vines. These do look kind of similar, though I don't see any of the uh, bulbs on them. This is a creep vine. So we'll scan this. Why are them cluster seeds up though, you know? I don't see any. Oof, it's one of those things again. I might try and scan it. Almost feels like the dudes that used to patrol this zone. That's how they'll act. And if you remember those, uh, yeah, my first experience was pretty bad. Oh, hell no! Go away! Come on, man! All right, so it's the bigger creep vines that will have the clusters. So there's some more there. Okay, let's take as many of these as we can. Don't think there's any danger. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Snatch these good stuff. Okay. Pick them all. Pick them all. These are mine. Let's go. Let's go ahead and scan these as well so we can, uh, I guess, read about them. May as well. There we go. I think let's take a look at our inventory. We're packing out. Look at that. They're also a water source. And wait, wait, what? Cold resistance for 60 seconds? Nice. Oxygen. What the freak was that? I know you guys heard that too. Okay, that's not good. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do now is search for, I guess, a resource of titanium. That will in turn be able to craft the knife from the fabricator. You should be able to find one relatively quick, I'd imagine. Here we go. Look at that. I mean, first try. All right, we're going to get back to base, guys, and then we're going to build up exactly what we need. I'm excited for this. In fact, you know what? I'm going to do a little bit more resource collecting beforehand. Let's make this journey really count. Let's see if we can find some more fragments of the sea glide, too. Okay, not a sea glide part, but a grav trap. So, again, we're going to go ahead and scan this. Okay, if this one's down here, though, let's find some more. Okay, so we actually have that. Nice. I might build that in a second just to see what it's all about. I mean, I guess the basic premise exists. Like, you throw it out and then it catches pretty much some fish and then you can use them for a food source. That's the main purpose of the grav trap, I suppose. Okay, let's get back in here, though. I'm gonna check out what we can make with the fabricator. First of all, most importantly, we've got to make ourselves some of the silicone rubber. All right, then we can go ahead and craft ourselves the hunting knife. Let me see. Uh, we could have crafted... We can still craft the fins. Hold up. Okay, there you go. So the fins. This is going to help with maneuverability. Okay, so here are the fins. They translate vertical limb movements underwater into forward thrust and enhance it by approximately 15%. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. I can just about notice the difference. Good stuff. It's also getting a bit dark. So, flashlight, battery, and glass. Next thing we need to build then. Wait, hold up. Can I already build that? Hang on a sec. Signal location Wait, what? To PDA. There's a... Hold up. What the freak is that? Can you back down? 451 emergency supply. I'm cold, I lost all my gear, and I'm no wiser to what's going on, but I'm alive. Sam, I can't authorize another drop. There's an emergency equipment cache. Hasn't been touched since the scouts landed six months ago. That's important then, that could be useful. Send me the cords, looks like we got them. That will be very, very important. Okay, so we can make ourselves one more battery. Then with that, let me just double check. I believe we can make, we can't make the torch. We need some glass, which I think we can make with the quartz. Swipe that one back, I got four quartz. How much does glass require? Just two. Okay, so we've got it. We're all done. In turn, that's going to translate to a flashlight. Now we can do some maneuverability in also the dead of night. Nice. Let's test this out. Let's see the light. Okay, stop shining in your freaking eyes. Hey, this is going to help out a lot. Let's go. Okay, so with the fins also equipped, we could probably move through the bottom of the ocean a little bit quicker. And in turn, also find some more of this good stuff. You see? We're getting close to this. Okay, actually, we're two out of three. Might do some scavenging, because we can finish this off, and then, like, movement speed. Bro, we're good. Seek fluid intake. All right. Another thing we've got to worry about. So, you know what? Bladderfish around here. Take that one there. Take that one. The, the movement speed, bro. You don't stand a chance, okay? <laughs> swipe you, swipe you. <laughs> I'm going to ease it right now, guys. I'm really excited, and I just want to find the last fragment before I go back to base, because it's got to be around here somewhere, you know? Yes, there it is! All right, sea glide fragment. Scan the final one, and we're all good here. Let's go, man! There you go. Okay, a lot of things just happened at once right there, so we glitched out. Hit that oxygen retake. Oof. I think in time as well, I need to make one of the uh, oxygen resupply things. Okay, so the sea glide right here. A battery, lubricant, and copper wire. I think I can make it all. There's your battery. Then the copper wire, I think, is two additional copper. Let's take a look. Okay, can't make that yet. Now, I know another one was lubricant for sure, so we'll do that. And also, I gotta remember my health. So in the meantime, I'm also gonna get a water source from the bladderfish. There's our first one. Okay, this is going on well so far. Let's take a look how we're doing then, all right? Consume that, consume that. Vital Much better. Oof. And I guess if we need to, we can munch this down. <laughs> there you go. So how do we make copper wire? Because I can't see it in the uh, inventory. In fact, it's not even telling me how we make it. So maybe it's because I don't have enough copper. The frig was that? Let me scan the fabricator. Will this give us hints in terms of like, how to use it better? Maybe? Okay, well, we've done it. Well, thank you. Okay, so once we have the resources to make the sea glide, I'm still not sure of the additional step to actually get the copper wire. So I'm going to go back, get some more creep vine. With that, I'm going to try and build the O2 supply just to keep me going a bit longer in that aspect. So let's do this. There we go. Go and give this thing a couple of chops. 
Take about four. That should be more than enough. Let me see if these guys are passive. <sighs> Kinda. It didn't acknowledge me. Most life forms here right now then seem kind of passive. That's good. Okay, we're back at base. Let's go ahead and make ourselves the fiber mesh. And then we do have the resources to said before to make the O2 tank. So in turn, we'll go ahead and do that. Go to the equipment. And then whereabouts do I see this thing? Okay, right here. Standard O2 tank. I think that's going to double what we have then. There you go. So a beacon got added. Nice. That will be useful. Let's go ahead and throw this puppy on. It's already on. Okay, 30 seconds additional. That's good. Okay, now all of a sudden we can make it. I mean, we may as well. Now, importantly, go into tools. Can we make it? Hey, where the freaks are at? Sea glide. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, let's go. Hey, guys, just equip the sea glider. I made some food, so everything's all packed up. Let me go ahead and save real quick. Let's give it a go. Take a look at that good stuff. Oh, yeah. All right, let's check out the movement speed. Thank you. Yeah, man, we're going to be zooming around this location now. Much better. Now we can check out the supply cache, and I guess in turn, see exactly what goods lie within. Let me get some oxygen. Okay, this is going to be our first dive, pretty much. Going to go underneath this ice cavern. Let's go around the edges, because this freaks me out. Claustrophobia and such. We've got another load of creep vines over here, so not bad. Okay, we're close, though. It's one of the things. What the freak was that boom? So if you go up to this thing, you go ahead and get some oxygen. Look at that. That's amazing. All right, well, thanks, man. Okay, I'll return the favor, um, I, I guess. Look at this. So we can go here. I guess this is going to be the tool. So a data box. High capacity O2 tank. Let's go. Now we can do those deeper dives. Wait, what? That's like a precursor thing, right? Let me scan this. It is. Precursor technology? Wait, what? Why is this down here? Next to a very, very deep hole. All right, let's breathe in a bit. Okay, we're going to dip down. How far down do we want to go? I guess I'll go down a little bit, but not too much, man. Okay. Uh, this is really... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Look at this down here. This is insane. It's like an alien world. Look at this plan. This is bizarre. It's insane, in fact. Look at this. It keeps going. It goes down more? Oh, what the freak? Passing 100 meters. I gotta see a Oxygen little bit more. Efficiency decreased. Oh my gosh. It's weird. Look how that thing, it like rolls around. What the fuck? Right, I'm getting back out, okay? If I can remember, else I'm gonna die. This is why it gave us, though, the high capacity O2 tank. Because you can't get down here properly until you go ahead and upgrade that thing. We know what we need to do next. Yeah, just barely getting out. Even though we had 75 seconds of oxygen, that was a close one. How big is this place? You know, I thought it was like a fairly small playground area, but it feels like we're experiencing most of the starting zone. Like, they've done a lot of work here. The thing is, they call this one a very early access build, yet it's filled with life. I feel like i got stuff to do. Awesome. Okay, propulsion cannon fragment. Yes, this is in the game too. Scan that. Thank you. So, one of two. Bro, give me a hit on that replenished oxygen real quick. All right, guys. Now, the last thing I'm going to do before I cut this episode off, I'm going to go back out. I want to try and locate whatever was making the very loud screaming that we heard before. Something makes it. And it's also a living creature. I think it's in this direction here. This is also going to give me more of a scope in terms of the size of the place. So I guess I know how I'm going to investigate it in the future. It's all important. Despite the danger I'm about to cause. Okay, we're traveling away. Oh my gosh, look how open this is. I've got to lead an alien sanctuary in the Twisty Bridges. There's also story elements for us to investigate. This is so dope. I need to go back to the research site. I can't let you. Why, what happened? Boss's orders were trying to keep you alive. Something really bad happened back there. Only because salaries cost less than lawsuits? The time flies around your data bank. Do as you please. Just tell me what you find. Don't get me in trouble. Sanctuary Zero location data. Nice. Okay, we've got that for the next episode alongside some twisty bridge crap to explore. We're going to do this first, though, guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I think that might be one of the sand sharks over here. I have no idea. Replenish your oxygen. Let's go. Give some of that. Thank you. What made the noise over here? I, I see literally nothing. I don't understand. Yeah, it's sand sharks. They're over here, you see? Interesting. So I guess we're going to go further out. And we're going to keep going. Look at this. Hold up. Is that a rock? Bro, look at him. Oh, my God. Okay. Don't look at him. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll leave you to do that. That was meant to be in the original game, but it never made the cut. Interesting. So they're in the game now. What else looks this way? Does look kind of desolate, but I gotta see. There's something here. You see? What the freak is that? It's like a big drop. I think it just goes in. <gasps> Wait, is that a sea emperor? Give me this. If it's a sea emperor, we're safe, right? Try and locate this. Where is it? It's over here somewhere. There it is, bro. It's a sea emperor. You've got to be passive then. So we're not in harm's way right now. It's releasing the enzyme. You know, look at this. Enzyme 42. And I just got some straight off the bat. 
So this is an actual explorable zone. Sam, I've got the enzyme. I'll send it up to you as soon as I can. The heck? We're counting on you. This is part of the mission, then, for what we got to do. Fascinating, though, the fact that they run out here, too. And I think this zone also has some kind of building structures to it. But look, you see these, like, very tall, viney things? It's like, it's like floating islands. Okay, what is that? It's like a huge rumble. Okay, I don't think we should be here. This is the first time I felt a bit uncomfortable so far in this game properly. Oh my gosh. Look at the life change around here. We've got these pod things. I recognize these dudes. Okay. Look. I'm spoiling this for myself. I, I really want to come back to this and check it out, like, you know? Whoa! Okay, I gotta see what these things are. Look at this! There's so many of them! Now, if they're passive too, this is incredible? And we found a base location, so we know to come back here in the future, okay? Look at this fella. Drop this. <sighs> Look at the size of them. There's so many, they're passive. They don't want to hurt us. Look at this. Bro, the atmosphere here. We shouldn't be here. Oh no. Okay, I gotta tread carefully. If I go near it, let me see. Completely passive. Doesn't even care that we're here. It doesn't even acknowledge us. Fascinating. Yeah, guys, this is 1k meters away from base as well. And the game willingly lets you explore this. And there is so much more down below to check out. This is insane. All right, made it on some dry land. This is where I'm gonna call episode one, guys. I literally thought this was gonna be a big open space. There is so much to explore. And there's even resources on this small pocket island here. Again, stuff we gotta check out. This though, guys, has been Subnautica Below Zero. The first taster of everything that we can explore. I, I literally think we have about 10 parts in this already. Like, that's insane. And I can't wait, I'm so happy. Anyway though, guys, if you did enjoy this video, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this from right here? Like, real soon, man. I can't even do the outro. I'm too hyped. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I of course hope you did enjoy, and I will of course see you on the next one.